my questions are focused on um, the $12 million that are allocated as part of the quote unquote unauthorized alien transportation program. And my first question is how much money remains in the program right now? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Joseph, I am unsure how much money is unspent currently, uh, but approximately $10 million. Representative Joseph. Thank you. So we've already spent two of the 12 million allocated? Representative Andrade. Uh, the $10 million was appropriated for the current year. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I'm trying to understand. I thought it was 12 million that's allocated, and you said that there's 10 million left. What am I missing? Representative Andrade. Thank you very, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Representative Joseph, I'm presenting the proposed budget for next year. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So for the predecessor program from which this one grows out of, do you know how much money was spent from that program? Representative Andrade, you can answer that question if you have to know the answer. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Representative Joseph, uh, the short answer is no. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Of the budgeted amount that you're looking for for next year, I know it came out in committee that some of the funds could be used for surveillance. My question for you is how much of the money allocated with this 10 million is going to be used for surveillance and identification of so-called unauthorized aliens? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Representative Joseph, um, I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I apologize. Uh, uh, when you say surveillance, can you be more specific? Representative Joseph. Thank you. By whatever was addressed in committee when addressing this particular program, I guess what I'm trying to figure out, are there any guidelines in deciphering how much can be used for actual transportation versus surveillance? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, Representative Joseph, I'd have to refer you to the GAA if there's any uh, proviso language or back of the bill language directing a specific dollar amount, but I, I don't believe that one currently exists. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I did scour the GAA and I did not see any such language, which is why I'm trying to see if there's any clarification with your allocation. Um, that being said, my next question is, how much of the 12 million allocation do you expect to be used or expended outside of the state of Florida? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, Representative Joseph. Uh, I don't have an estimated amount for that either. I apologize. I, um, uh, this is a program that we entrust the state agency to comply with and, and follow according to the, the guidelines we provide. Representative Joseph, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, I agree that it's according to the guidelines we provide, and that's what I'm trying to seek clarification on, is what guidelines are we providing? I see the money that's being allocated, but I don't understand the guidelines. So are there any guidelines and, and there may be, there may not be any, but are you aware of, are you creating any guidelines to dictate how much money can be spent in state versus out of state? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Representative Joseph, we had a, a whole policy bill on it, and I think that's where the confusion stemming from. We, we had legislation passed, you know, during our special session on the topic. I'd have to refer you to the policy bill uh, for the questions that you're asking. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I appreciate the reference to the policy bill. I also happen to be there for that, and none of these questions were answered then either. So since we're allocating the money, I'm just trying to figure out, if you, if you don't have it, that's okay. You can just say that. Um, but are there any guidelines for um, paying, using Florida dollars to pay out-of-state law enforcement, or are we just paying Florida law enforcement? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Joseph, um, we have mutual aid agreements with pretty much every state, especially in the Southeast, that are more detailed, especially in, in times of hurricanes. Um, uh, the, the restrictions that you're looking for are a function of legislation. Um, just presenting a budget right now. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, 
respectfully, what I'm looking for is just what your budget provides for. So I'm not looking for policy. That's a separate discussion. I'm just trying to see if the money as allocated, which you just said a moment ago, can be added in proviso, because I couldn't find it. So I'm checking to see, have you had any discussions about, or have do you have anything in proviso about um, any guidelines for spending that money in state versus out of state? Representative Andre, do you have any delineation of where that money may be spent for proviso? Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, Representative Joseph, um, like any other state agency executive function, we often legislate directions and directives to state agencies. Those state agencies are bound to follow the law as we pass it, and then we fund it based on that law. This is the same as every other executive function. Um, no, there is no proviso language. Um, yeah, there's $12 million to follow the law as we passed it uh, to pursue the program. Representative Joseph. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, while I appreciate your, your sentiments, there are areas in the budget where we do have specific allocations for specific FTEs for specific functions. If those are not presented in your budget allocation, that's fine. I can accept that. Um, and it sounds like to the extent that there may be, it doesn't sound like they are, you don't know about them. Is that a fair interpretation? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Representative Joseph, I've already said there are no, there is no proviso language. There is no back of the bill language. There's, there's $12 million to execute on the program as legislatively created. Other questions? Representative Joseph, I'll get you for one more question and we're gonna move on to other members. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, was the funding that's allocated here part of the Division of Emergency Management's legislative budget request? Representative Andrade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, Representative Joseph, if you're asking if it was part of the governor's proposed budget, it was. I don't believe it was in DEM's section of that proposed budget, but it was requested by the governor's office and they're a subsidiary of the governor's office. 